What's going on you guys, got Coach Zoe here and this is going to be a strength and conditioning full body dumbbell workout. You just need one dumbbell to get rocking and rolling. Let's get started off with our jumping jacks. This workout is going to be focused on strength and conditioning. So we're going to be using preferably a medium to heavy dumbbell, right? Because we are doing full body movements. We want to be explosive, powerful, okay? Well, we are still working with a little bit more of an endurance format. So longer work intervals. Let's take it up to butt kicks. There will be rest time built in, but no long rest breaks. All right, it's a 15 minute quick workout to get a lot of work done in a short amount of time. Let's go for high knees. Good for three, two, one, and we'll take it side to side. Speed skaters. We're going through a quick warm up because this is a quick workout. Good, all right. Give me one lunge, one hinge, or I'm sorry, <laughs> one lunge, one squat, one hinge, one lunge, one squat, one hinge, one lunge, again. One squat, one hinge, one lunge. All right, grabbing that dumbbell. We're gonna go overhead with a couple presses. So just a double grip on each head. Grabbing that bell in the center. A few upright rows. Drawing that belly in, activating through the core. Good, all right, next. Let's get that dumbbell to a front rack position and knock out a few squats. A few deadlifts. And a few lunges back to your front rack. Now, this workout is going to be single hand on the dumbbell. So, keep that in mind when you're choosing your weight. I know right now we have two hands on, but it will be single side work. Good, all right. Let's just get a few high pulls in. So a little dip, a little hinge, coming up with an aggressive pull. A couple on each side. Good, and then both hands, a few push press. Boom, all right, we got 15 seconds. Quick drink of water if you need it. 40 seconds work, 20 seconds of rest the whole way through. We are starting off with cleans. It's gonna be pyramid style, so we're gonna add on, and then we're gonna take away. So starting off with just our clean, let's get to a halfway, a hang clean. Begin. All right, we're gonna curl it up, switch sides. All right, so when you're ready, let's get started. Remember, doing that shrug, pull, and then get underneath. All right, I'm not curling that dumbbell up. I'm powerful with my hips. Again, alternating sides. Can alternate at the bottom. I'm just switching on the way. So remember, we're gonna have a rest after each interval. So really push it hard for every 40 seconds of work. Good, short break. So three different pyramids today. I need three different sets of exercises, okay. So, next we're gonna add a lunge on. To get ready, we're gonna do a clean on one side, 
step that same side forward with a lunge, then switch in three, two, one. Let's begin. Clean, front rack lunge, switch sides. Clean, front rack lunge, okay? Clean, front rack lunge. Now you can step forward or back. It's up to you. I'm gonna step forward today. I do a lot of reverse lunges. I feel like I can move a little bit quicker with a forward lunge. Good, rest. Okay, now next it's up to you. We're adding a press. So if you feel comfortable with an overhead lunge, you could curl, press, then lunge, or you can curl, lunge, bring it back with that push press, okay? So again, if you're comfortable overhead lunging, do your press first in three, two, one. Let's begin. Curl, press, overhead lunge, switch sides. Curl, press, overhead lunge. If that's too much, right? Don't hurt yourself. Do your curl, lunge, finish with a press. All right, it's totally up to you. Curl, lunge, and finish with a press. All right, if you can do that overhead lunge, get it in because it's great for your core strength. Belly in. It's gonna be more challenging than just your front rack. But again, don't break your form and rest. All right, climbing back on that pyramid, so lunge, or I'm sorry, clean, then lunge. All right, these move quick. It's just 15 minutes, but it's a fast workout, all right? Get ready. Three, two, one. Back to it. Clean and lunge. Switch sides. Clean and lunge. So don't forget, if that dumbbell isn't too heavy for you, make sure you're still Getting underneath, right? We don't want to just strict clean. You're gonna burn out those shoulders. We got a lot of shoulder work today. <laughs> Five seconds. And rest. All right. Final interval of the pyramid, just your clean. So alternating, pushing that pace, okay? So again, these are quick. We will only have our 20 seconds of rest before our next pyramid, all right? So get ready to rock and roll immediately in three, two, one. Let's go with those cleans. Aggressive in the hips. Again, just the hang clean. That way we can get more reps in. Okay, notice my shoulders like shrugging up, right? Big shrug, you'll see that big shrug as they get underneath. So I'm not curling it. It's a little hard to get away from that curl with a dumbbell and rest. Okay, next are our high pulls. Let me get my hands to break. So holding that dumbbell on one side, we're gonna hinge like a deadlift, keep that bell close to the body, and then we're aggressive in the hips, coming up with an upright row. So it's this motion, all right, but with power, baby. Let's go, high pull, switch sides. All right, if it's a little too awkward for you, you can bang out two or three and then switch. My dumbbell's pretty heavy, so <laughs> I'm gonna switch every time. Kind of do like a monkey switch grip. Cover it with the new hand and release with the working side. And rest. All right, so we did the high pull. Now we're gonna add on a snatch. So snatch is basically that high pull, but when we're here in that full extension, we're gonna get underneath and punch. So it looks like this. This is not any strength. 
This is just guiding the weight, okay? All of your power comes from the back end. In three, two, one. We have one high pull, one snatch. All right, then switch sides. One high pull, one snatch. I'll come at a different angle. One high pull, one snatch. We're moving quick, you guys. Not a lot of time to dilly-dally. Woo! This is tough. One high pull, one snatch. Again, we're just working from that hang position just so we can be a little bit faster. Really push that pace. We only have 40 seconds. And rest. Okay, final move to add on is the overhead squat. If that's too hard, keep it at a front squat. So you'll do high pull, snatch, immediately into your overhead squat, or high pull, snatch, bring it down, and then squat, okay? Up to you, right back to it, let's go. High pull, snatch, overhead, or high pull, snatch, front rack, then squat. Okay, so make it work for you. I love overhead squats. They are so unforgiving. <laughs> so if you have any muscular balances going on, that overhead squat is going to let you know right away. And rest. All right, so it's the top of the pyramid, climbing back down. Just a high pull to snatch. And then we're done with this circuit. No, I'm sorry. Then our high pull. And then we're done with this pyramid. All right, high pull and snatch. Back to it in three, two, one. Let's go. High pull, snatch. High pull and snatch. And rest. Woo! All right. Finishing off with just the high pull. So again, every other, what I like to do is when I bring it down, I cover and then I release and catch. All right, makes a little smooth for a switch, quick switch. Otherwise, do two or three and then switch if it's awkward for you. Let's go high pulls. Last time on this pyramid, let's go. We start strong, we end strong. And rest. All right, you guys, I'm gonna give your muscles a little bit of a break. Our final pyramid, sprawls, renegade rows, and a snatch. So the snatch will be a full power snatch from the floor to the ceiling. All right, but we're starting just with a sprawl, hopping out to a plank, hopping back in or stepping. Let's go. Just your sprawl to start, no jumping at the top. Round that back a little bit, give it a bit of a break. Pull that belly in when you land on your plank. Less than 10, a couple more. and rest. All right, position that dumbbell so that it's long ways between your feet. All right, maybe take a step back. You're going to hop out with your sprawl. You're going to give me a row, hop it in and stand. 
All right, so one sprawl, one renegade row. Let's get started in three, two, one, begin. One sprawl, one row, back up. One sprawl, one row. Hold a strong plank when you row. You could, if you're feeling eager, hop out in that plank with your hand already on the bell. Makes a little quicker transition. And rest. Okay, so next we have one sprawl, one row. Keep that hand on the bell. Hop it up, get into position, snatch. Okay, if that's too much, you can stand up and do your hang snatch or maybe just come up with a high pull, okay? In three, two, one, sprawl, row, snatch or high pull. Back to the other side, sprawl, row, snatch or high pull. Woo! Sprawl, row, snatch or high pull. Keep it up. and rest. Woo! All right, so that was our hardest final round. We're gonna take it back down. So just your sprawl in your row, and then just the sprawl, and then we're done. Get ready. Starting in three, two, one. Let's do it. Sprawl and row. Again, notice I'm just putting my hand right onto the handle of the dumbbell for whatever side is going to be pulling. Just a little bit of a quicker transition. Woo! Almost there. and rest. Okay, final one, you guys. You can push that dumbbell to the side. Just the sprawls, 40 seconds. Let's go as hard as you can. All right, get in those reps. Stand up quick, boom, full extension in those hips. Right back down to the floor in three, two, one. Let's go. Find your rhythm and keep repeating it in your head. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Keep yourself accountable. Halfway. And rest. Woo! That's it, you guys. Let's check it out. Arm circles backwards. Walk around a little bit. Catch your breath. Woo! All right. Let's do some swings and hinge through the hips. Very nice work. If you like this workout, you're going to see more like this. Give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section. All right, something you want to see again. Or if there's something new you want to see, I haven't done yet. I'm trying to give you guys lots of variety. So that way we don't have any excuse not to work out that day. <laughs> and subscribe that way. You can get notified every time I post a new workout and we can stay fit together. Woo! Very nice work and we'll hinge. Give those little hamstrings a breather. Big step forward, hip flexors. All right, you guys, that is it. 
Thank you so much for joining me. Stay strong, stay tough.